It was a boring day, I was bored, and I decided to browse the internet. And then suddenly I stumbled upon this post, 100 plus artists redraw kids doodles of scary monsters. I mean, this looked so fun that I thought, how, how difficult could it be? I mean, I'm definitely gonna do something like that. It's gonna be easy. Spoiler, it wasn't. So this is the monster that I chose. It was drawn by a cute Mia. As you can see, she gave very clear instructions. This is a slime. So this is going to be just a pilot episode. And if it does well, I'm gonna create many more of this. Let's get this started, my dear friend Sirius. First, I'm gonna find some nice plate images. Next, we're gonna find some nice gelatin. Oh yeah, baby. Let's import on the both of them into Photoshop and kick that gelatin to make it smaller. Uh, make it a uh, greenish putate inside the plate. Create a duplicate and boom, a third one. Look at this tasty candy. It's like a cherry on the top, except that it's not. Let's now use liquify tool to make this thing melt. Imagine that there's summer, it's a hot weather, we're all on the beaches and there's no virus. <laughs> okay, for it. Calm down. We have to do it for all the other slices of our beautiful pie as well. It's time to melt the candy. Oh my god, this is gonna be a magnificent cake. Oh, hello beautiful eyes. Let me add you in my photoshop. Bebem. I'm just gonna place two eyes here, color them with some greenish colors and make them 3D. Now I would need some time to edit the eyes. I mean, they say that eyes are a window into human soul. I mean, not that I have a soul, after all, I destroy people's faces in Photoshop for work. So I mean, I'm definitely a soulless person, I would say so. I want to make myself look beautifully, so I need to find some eyelashes to be pretty. Okay, let's just add them into Photoshop. Wait, wait, did you really think I need it for myself? <laughs> I'm already the maximum beautiful a human can ever get. Okay, I don't need any improvements. I'm gonna use Puppet Warp to create points and reverse its curve. And put it on the monster, oh my god, he's such a cutie. I'm gonna choose some very interesting brush. <coughs> oh my god, I'm almost dead. I'm just gonna draw all of it with this brush pattern and change the blending mode. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> okay, guys, I know this looks horrible, but trust me, it's gonna be good. No, I'm dead serious. Right now, it doesn't look like anything nice, but trust me, the contrast between now and the end product is going to be. <laughs> I should really stop doing this stuff. Make a hole for the mouse. Now, I'm gonna go to www.dirtytees.com and look some really nice teas. No, but for real, I wanna know if this website exists. Just, you know, for research, let's say dirtytees.com. Please, God, I hope there's nothing really weird here. <gasps> oh, thanks, God, it's for sale. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what you could do? You could get this domain, you could upload your friend's image here, and then you could tell him that you have a surprise for him for his birthday. Okay, let's go back to Photoshop. Let's import these beautiful teeth and make them sharper. I'm gonna start creating copies and change their shapes. And the bibim. So anyway, I'm gonna use Puppet Warp tool to create points and start curving it around the mouse. And the voila! Now to create the back of his mouse, I'm just gonna create an ellipse, add some gradient to it, and then I'm gonna create copies of this ellipse, making every next ellipse smaller. I'm gonna create many copies of the T's and put them behind, kinda like a multi-layered mouse. And add some shadows for more realism. But you know what is even better? The fact that you can access all of my premium Photoshop classes with a 7-day free trial! Learn how to create stunning artworks and animations and finally fake your own images so you can go from ugly to beautifully. Learn from Fred.com. Stop creating ugly artworks. Start today for free. Anyway, I also added some textures to make things look interesting. Wow. In the original artwork, the monster has some hands. So let's do that. Let's add some hands to our a beautiful monster. Also, I'm gonna use liquify tool to do that. I'm gonna do some simple refining by making the edges darker, and also we'll add a beautiful table. Or I call it. Table. The eyes that we currently have look like a cartoon, so I'm looking for some realistic cat eyes. And everything is instantly so much cuter. 
Mr. Monster's operation was a success. You look sexy now. I wanna add a hand pouring some sauce on the monster to make him tasty. So that's why we also need a bottle and uh, voila, bum chica bum. I will also have to manually draw the, the, the what is it called? Uh, the sauce using courage of mental. <laughs> Few hours later, I finished the liquid and also edited the colors. Now we need to find some kitty texture. And just to be clear, I'm not obsessed with cats, okay? I actually, I mean, I like cats, but I actually love dogs more. Well, anyway, I love everyone, okay? I found a really creepy background which I will add to the project and make it blurry, you know, because it's really, really far away. Guys, I'm hungry, so I don't care if you think it's scary. I'm gonna eat this thing, okay? Uh, why? Why did you stab me? Why? Another round of beautiful color grading. Oh yeah, let's go sneaker shopping. Uh, except we're gonna get some lame chairs. Boom, chakalaka bum. Oh, looks like I found your grandma's chair. Let's put this creepy thing in the back for the atmosphere. And make it blurry, of course. Now comes the most difficult part. Uh, wait, you thought what we did before was difficult? <laughs> wait for this horrible challenge. Losers. I'm just kidding, okay? But this is going to be really difficult. I'm gonna make the whole thing darker and you know I want to change the time from day to night so I will apply this effect only to the windows and uh, make them really dark. Let's light up the star of the show, Mr. Pretty Face. Yeah, that's his name. Let's color the eyes with white color and also make them shine with Arta Glow. Afterward I will choose a thunder brush and add some thunder into the eyes. As a final touches I'm gonna create a duplicate of the monster and add some radial zoom to it to make it glow like a ghost. And then I'm also gonna add oil paint effect on everything to make it look like a painting. And boom, chakabam, look at this creepy and tasty dessert. As you can see, I added oil painting everywhere, so it looks like a real painting. I mean, this is just amazing. Tell me you wouldn't do this, come on. Just to compare it to the original drawings, I mean, it's perfecto. And all this done just using a plate and a stupid gummy. I mean, almost, okay, almost. If I had to rate this work, I would probably give it 8 out of 10. I mean, it's not my best work. I, I usually create gorgeous artworks, which are just mm, amazing. I mean, we have to agree on that, right? But anyway, this artwork is also fine. I mean, it was a very long artwork and it was kind of difficult at some places. Of course, I could do it again and do it much better, but I was too lazy to repeat it. Let me know if you liked this episode. If you did, then leave a like and comment so I know I should create more of this monster drawings. I don't know how to call it. Anyway, you get what I mean, right? We understand each other because there is a connection between us. Love you. Bye-bye. And also don't forget, learnfromfred.com. Start learning for free.